Katina is battling the enemy. Will you help him out? Affirmative, General. Good luck. Katina, the frontline base for the reunion. Hang on, guys. Help is on the way. Bill! All right, welcome to Katina, which is an interesting mission to say the very least. That's one of ours. So this is actually a bit of an interesting mission. Uh, first off, we have not only enemy fighters, but also ally fighters, which is why Bill was like, Fox, that's one of ours. Uh, it can be a little bit hard to figure out who is one of ours and who is one of the enemies, at least from far away. If you're getting close, you can kind of figure it out. For the most part, though, just literally just shoot at everything that's not one of your allies, and you'll be fine. You obviously won't get any points for destroying your allies, but you also don't lose anything for destroying them, so... Yeah. I could be mistaken, but I think it might be possible to actually max out on your score on this mission. Just do the how things work out. Sorry, Pep. So, uh, if you're going for medals, this is definitely one of the easiest missions to get a medal on. I don't remember what it, the score is off the top of my head, I just know it's the easiest one. The only hey, issue when going for medals is that you need to make sure that your uh, friends stay alive. So you need to make sure that Slippy, Falco, and Peppy do not have their health run out, aka they have to leave the battle. As long as you can do that, you can literally just keep on killing enemies because... The alien mothership is here, and the alien mothership is not going to play very nice. It has hatches that releases more enemy units. Here they come, thank you. So because of the hatches out here, just dropping off more enemy here units, ow, jerk, there is in fact a limitless supply of enemies that you can shoot down. Go for the four hatches on the underside. But yeah, uh, what Bill says right there is what we need to do. Also, before we forget, because we got Bill, well, because we came to Katina, Katina? Whatever the stage is, uh, and we found Bill, we will be part of what I call the Bill ending. Uh, essentially, you just have to actually meet Bill on your adventure trying to defeat Andros to get the quote unquote Bill ending. Now, the Bill ending is just one out of three. There is, let's say, the normal ending, the bill ending, and another character we have not met yet. Uh, not even if we took the upper pathway, at least of uh, uh, Route 3. The cat ending. Uh, they change only like one little thing, and that's at the end credits. And it's only for like one little bit. I'm gonna talk about them a little bit more once we get to the end credits. Anyway, the so last hatch is open. I destroyed three of them on one pass, so it's very easy to get this out of the way. And there we go. All four hatches are down, which means the enemy reinforcement should stop. Uh oh. So yes, destroying the four hatches immediately gives us a countdown time of one minute. We'll totally get rid of the core, which is this giant needle in the middle. Upon doing that, yeah, you did it. A very simple mission, all things considered. Uh, if you care about scoring all that, then obviously maybe holding off destroying the four hatches until you get the score you want, but other than that, very simple, four minutes in, and I'm already done. And this is the good ending. Uh, also, uh, for both endings, as long as you came to this one, you can get Bill to show up in either path that you take. Uh, and the one path, he will only show up in one location, but we'll talk about that when the time comes around. You too, Bill. See ya, Bill. It's cool to know that, that we're not the only ones out there, the fact that we have Bill out here in his own air wing, because he likely works for Corneria. And so, yeah, it's just neat. So, upon completing, we go over to a freaking star. And again, Bill will be here, but let's go back. We had a minute to destroy the core. Maybe you didn't know where the core was located. Maybe you weren't sure what the hit. And I just blast Pappy's ship. 
Or maybe like, uh, I just want to get a few more kills in before I worry about the core. I should have enough time. I got a minute to deal with all this. After all, I'm going for that medal or whatnot. I, I, I got I got more work to get done. Or maybe I just weren't able to figure out that the giant needle underneath was the core. I think it's a little bit obvious, but hey, to each their own. Just keep on killing everything. I don't know what just hit me right there. Ow. Alright. Well, we still got some time. Anything else left to kill? Wait. No. Okay, should aim for the needle, but I need to get a good angle at it. Need to turn around like now. Right about now. Here we go. Aim for the needle! Dang it! Not good enough. Um. Um, um, um. Fox! Get out of here now! All aircraft break away! I love how defeated he sounds. But yeah, you ever see Independence Day? Because, uh, this is pretty much Independence Day right here. Kamehameha! Ha! And the defeated music. We were good, but just not good enough. However, when a lost mission is complete. Dang! Go get you down, Fox! Still a chance, we can still win this thing. Why do the other guys have anything to say? But I guess Peppy is meant to be kind of like the mentor of character. So should we unfortunately not be able to save the base, we move on down to Sector X. So yeah, you can see you can go from Sector Y to Sector X, but can we get from Sector X to Sector Z? Well, that's for another time to figure out.